On this final day of Black History Month, Fort Smith Police Department celebrating the strong history of black officers in the city. Five News reporter Kayla Davis spent the afternoon with the officers learning about their history and the impact they've had on the community. To close out Black History Month Thursday, Fort Smith Police Captain Wendell Sampson led a presentation on how Black History Month began and the lineage of black officers in the city. The pride I feel is, as law enforcement officer is uniquely mine. I, I think I was kind of born to serve like a lot of the people that we profiled today. While it hasn't always been easy, he says that pride intensifies knowing only 10 black officers came in the century before he was hired. The first, Officer Bynum Colbert in 1884. There was an article that profiled uh, the black African-American officers who served at the Fort Smith Police Department. And there at the very bottom of it, uh, my name was mentioned as in that line, in that fraternity of black officers. So I didn't realize what the community, what the African-American community really thought of, of us as African-American officers until I had that article. Once you get that ownership and someone takes you as their own and says, here, and we recognize you as, as in line, it, it puts an extra weight on you to, to, to represent. Captain Sampson and his fellow officers have since moved the needle. Now there are more than 10 officers of color on the staff. Chief Danny Baker says hearing each other's stories is an important part of dismantling implicit bias. The perspective that Captain Sampson gave on uh, some of the scrutiny that he felt like he was under as the only black police officer in the department for a number of years and how you know, that created a dynamic for him that, I, I, I mean, it just, I'd never thought of that before. Having that kind of knowledge is, um, it, for a leader and for, you know, a police chief, it's invaluable. But Chief Baker says there is still more work to be done. We can't ever think that we've arrived and, and give up. Uh, you know, we're going to continue to push for diversity within the department. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Kayla Davis, 5 News.